Hello there, my name is Ewan and I'm a self-confessed astronomy addict. Today, I'm going to be cleaning this with this. My secondary mirror with some first contact cleaning solution. Wish me luck. Okay, so this is the secondary from my Newtonian scope and if I move it around, move the camera around, you can see sort of like along here and here and here and here that I've got some marks on the secondary. What you probably won't be able to see is that there's actually quite a build up of dust as well. Now this is a sample sized bottle of the first contact cleaning solution from uh, Photonic Cleaning Technologies and uh, I'm going to be trying it out to see how well it's going to clean up my secondary. So the only thing I've done so far is I've taken the secondary out of the scope. I'm not deliberately standing here with the bottle in the mirror but it sort of looks quite cool so we'll, we'll keep it there. Um, now one of the things that uh, Photonic recommend is that when you apply the liquid to whatever you're going to be cleaning you then use some method to actually remove the dry solution once it's it's sort of done its job uh, that doesn't involve you touching the solution itself or your mirror whatever so what they recommend you use is a piece of nylon thread sort of draped across or you can attach a piece of gauze to the edge or you can uh, wait for it to dry completely and then attach a sticky label to the solution dry solution and peel it off and uh, in the sample pack they actually provide you with the necessary nylon thread the bit of gauze and some sticky labels so you actually have everything that you need to clean the lens now I'm not gonna video me applying the solution I mean you can see just here it comes in a little bottle with a brush and you just brush it onto the mirror and leave it to dry. So I'm going to do that bit off screen and then we'll come back and I will show you me peeling off the solution, uh, well not live but recorded on here. So back in a few minutes. Okay welcome back I've applied the solution and I just want to provide a word of warning I decided to use the lid the sorry the cover from my newt as a little tray to hold everything in mainly because it was black and all these bits that I wanted to show you were white but you can see here I managed to drip a little piece of the solution onto the plastic and um, it very successfully started to eat into the plastic so um, yeah don't do that don't use your uh, your your, your um, dust guards and bits of plastic leave it on the table because then when you spill it on the table it does just wipe off nice and easily um, and you can see it's already started to dry quite effectively so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the sticker I'm opting for the sticker version uh, to the mirror and we'll go from there so uh, just give me a moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can do this while I carry on talking let's put that that's my camera mounted into a little tripod let's see if we can shrink the little tripod down so that you can actually see what's going on There we go. Okay, so lots of sticky labels. Let's take one, rip a piece off, and here we go. We'll just stick that there. Now I'm 
hoping that this is going to work but what I am going to do is leave it to dry for just a few minutes more I'm not going to touch the camera I'm not going to touch anything else so hopefully you should just get a bit of a flicker on the screen and we'll be back okay welcome back we uh, have given it another couple of minutes to dry off when I say a couple of minutes it's probably had in total now about 10-15 minutes to dry off just because I wanted to make sure that everything was uh, was was safe so here we go we are now going to on camera try and peel this off here's hoping I've done everything right wow that is sticky Uh, it looks like I am peeling my sticky label off the solution. Hmm. So we're not happy with that. I'm going to keep this going, keep the camera going, and we're going to try it again. Here we go brand new piece of sticky label stick it on press it firmly into place and give it a peel And again, we've just got a sticky label coming off. Okay, so now we're going to try their gauze system. What they say is when you get a bit of gauze, I might have to put the mirror down to do this, you need to actually stick it on with some solution. So here we go. Here's the gauze, here's the solution. Okay. Now this obviously needs to re-dry. And I am making sure I give it another liberal coating just to make sure that it's going to stick properly there we go it's not sticking right at the edge there is it I have to hold that in place okay so we're going to give that a try see how that does leave it like that won't touch it back in 15 minutes okay welcome back again um it's actually been closer to an hour since i uh, i last had the video camera running um reason for that is a friend came round, so i stopped for a cup of tea so here we go um everything's shifted slightly because of course i've been out of here and so now we are going to try peeling off the bit of gauze. Are we ready? Oh, oh, we have some movement. Oh my. Oh, we seem to have a very, very, very clean and dust free mirror. Well, would you look at that? Oh, I am impressed with that. Okay, so there we go. Leave it for as long as possible before you take the uh, the film off. But it certainly works. It certainly cleans your uh, your mirror for you. Uh, now all I've got to do is put everything back together and recollimate the scope, and uh, we'll be good to go tonight. 
So, once again, this is the first contact solution by Photonic Cleaning Technologies, uh, which was, uh, as usual, I, I got this from 365 Astronomy. And uh, yes, it's it, it, it does the job. It's um, it's fantastic. Thanks for your patience there, and thanks for sticking with me on this while we uh, we gave it a go. Uh, I'll speak to you again soon.